Now I want to go all the way back, and I want to take you back. Take you back. Take you back. Back. I want to double digit fish. Back. 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 <laughs> it's got some good. Back. It's got some great back. action. Back. It's just I'm I'm just back. impressed with the rod. I'm not afraid of throwing it on back. on this lake. Back. Put the schedule together as best we can. Um, okay. Is the morning bite? This is hard because you're weird day today. But is it, should we emphasize morning, day, evenings? Yeah. Mornings. Okay. So I would emphasize on the mornings for sure. But all day they're biting. I mean, I just couldn't go anywhere today. Yeah. It's too gnarly. I got, yeah, I got trapped, dude. And it was just. So Thursday, Friday. So Saturday is west southwest at 10 to 20. Oh God. Uh -huh. No, east southeast shifting to west southwest, 10 to 20. All right, as long as it's north, we're golden, dude. If it's out of the north or out of the west, we're golden. It's the south, it's actually the east that sucks. The south is manageable. It's a cool angler beauty right here. That's all time gridlock. I don't even know. Gotta cut it off, dude. No way. Never have, never will. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. Holy moly, I don't even know where to start. No, there's no way. I think I have to cut all of them. This is insane. This is a world record for sure. 38, yeah, 8 o'clock. Alright. When do they when do they close the um the stickerage at the casino? Uh, I don't know if they do close it. You could probably just pull into that under that new awning, you know, like everybody's doing, and then just come out and do it right there real quick. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay. Uh, I, I don't... Dude, don't look at the camera. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a good night's sleep? Yeah, pretty good. Like, big point that goes into Soda Bay? No, he's talking more towards, like, the slough I was showing you. You got County Park, and then you oh, got North. That bay. Sorry, I keep thinking of yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, actually getting solid. Deal. Yeah, that's what you can do. I got that thing for thirty bucks. All right, it looks good. Yeah. You think the kid didn't have a rod? <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at this rod locker yesterday. I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I really like how online it gives a really clear description of what every rod is good for. And if you look at every rod, it's not just, oh, here's a crankbait rod. It lists pretty much five different things that it's good for. And I would say all those descriptions are spot on. And I don't know, it seems like every rod I don't have one rod that's only specific to one bait. I can fish whatever I want on pretty much any eye rod. I just love how versatile eye rods are. I was fishing at Blue Lakes with my, my old tournament partner and, and there is this older gentleman throwing a drop shot, and I think it was. And I went up and talked to him because he was catching a lot more fish than us. And he was using eye rods and I didn't really know what was going on. I was like, oh, a fishing rod's a fishing rod. And he started telling me about him, and I went out and bought one, and just fell in love with him. This was pretty important for me. So I'm from Santa Cruz. There's not that much bass fishing around there. I have Pinto Lake and Loch Lomond, just little lakes. But I've always bass fished in this one little pond called West Lake, but I never took it too serious. But um, in 2015, I had a hip surgery, and that took me out of surfing and. I, couldn't go saltwater fishing on the rough ocean for, I think the doctor said a year and a half. And ocean fishing was a big part of my life. I loved that and surfing. So without that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start bass fishing. So we actually built a little wooden platform on my grandpa's bay boat and put a trolling motor on it. And that was when I started bass fishing, like bass fishing heavily about four months after my surgery, just on calm lakes when my doctor cleared me. And ever since then, I've just kind of fallen in love with it and now I'm addicted to it. With surfing, there's all the weather, winds, tides, swell. 
And I think a lot, I think bass fishing has a lot to do with that too, because you have the weather, barometric pressure, water levels, water temp. I think surfing and fishing are pretty similar because you never really know what you're gonna get. But this is the cool thing now, bass fishing and surfing are the perfect split because if the waves are good, I go surf. And then if it's not good, I can go bass fish. And I can pretty much bass fish any day of the year and I just love that about it. I call Clear Lake my, my home lake because I grew up fishing here as a little kid with my dad and now since I got a boat I've been doing a bunch of tournaments up here and it's just, I, every time I come here I look forward to fishing. It's just a great fishery because you can catch them shallow, you can go catch them deep, you can catch them on pretty much anything you want in here if you put in the time for it. My first rod was the, the Bama Rig Special. Yeah, that was my first rod. I actually still have this original rod. I've had that rod for years, and it's still holding up just fine. Um, give me that strength. Um, that my parachute let me jump. Um, you are the one to make it sound so fun. Guy. Come on. And it's a little fish. Not too bad of a fish though. No, that's the six. <laughs> Did you see my line jump? Yeah. That's why I dropped to the ground. <laughs> You got it that time? Yeah. Good one. No. No, maybe. Maybe not. I can't even see him yet. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Another one. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. This is probably one of my favorite all-around rods. A 703cc, the Gabe's Rip Wrap Special. It's pretty much good for any reaction bait. I can throw anything from a square bill to a medium-sized mid-diver and works really well for chatter baits, spinner baits, and also a little finesse swim baits, which is what I caught the big one on today. My other most versatile one is probably Bub's Punch Rod. I love that thing for punching and flipping, but then it also works great for A-rigs and small swim baits. And that's my favorite small swim bait rod for little glide baits and little Tom? soft baits. Good one. Slack it. Should I step up in size? Oh, it's top secret. Top secret baits. Oh my god. We have god. them imported from another country. size that mouth. It's like the size of a quarter. <laughs> and that fish has got to be three and a quarter pounds. <laughs> yeah, all the way to that end corner. How do these things get? Good. It kind of tore open on me a little bit, but it's because he had oh, all. Did you see that? Oh. Total denial. It was in the spot, but it's so bouncy. I was like, all oh, right, took my client straight over there. Yeah. Yeah. How symmetrical is that hook at? That was perfect. That's a nice one, dude. That's a pretty fish. Nice gold. Dude, that was red. I didn't expect it. Thought we were done on that wall. Dude. What's that? Dude. I love this like, That would be my Newman rod. <laughs> the Newman swim would be the junior swim. Right. Another one? Yep, get it under there again. There's obviously a few buckaroos sitting there. Dude, it'll have to come. Rob. Four, man. We got junior four. Now we need your 10. Junior swim? Yeah. Junior swim, eh? It's such a good rod for that bait, too. Oh, gosh. Talk about making love with the wall. Oh yeah, he's so screwed. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Oh, he got it. I mean, dude, in that wind, I give, I give that a 9.5. 9.5 from the Russian wind. Many a slide swimmer 250 up there. So mean to it, it'll ruin your whole school life. Nice.
sick, dude. That'd be so sick in slow motion. I didn't frame. Money. Oh my gosh, Newman. Throw that line against the wall. Throw it against the wall. Throw it against the wall. There you go, perfect. Oh, okay. Got her. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. I will, for sure. I'll give you a call when I get back to the ring. I didn't see it. I got the meanest wall we have to go hit next. I have never saw it here, but you never know. Just you just turned that. If you want to do it, do both of them at the same time. One more time. This tail's like do, 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 do. Damn. She's like freedom. I got I like the 
lighting on yours, but let's do it again. Just to be safe, because this is pretty freaking dope right now. Now I'm down here in Clear Lake, one of the big bass fisheries in the country, fishing with a G2 Ultra Finesse rod. This is gonna be fun. I've been pleading with Matt to get an old school rod, something that was uh, had a little more parabolic tip a little further down. But I needed something a little looser with a little more forgiveness for open hook baits, dart heads, uh, you know, drop shotting, swimming kitex out, uh, smaller tubes, spy baiting. That whole spy bait craze is taking off. So throwing that dual reality spin bait with this thing has been just a, an amazing deal. I could cast it a mile. Really good feel, good transmission of vibration into the rod and uh, bite sensation. So I don't know how Matt does it, what works in his mind to do this stuff, but how he puts and takes all that information and transmits it to the factory to come out with a rod. I mean, it was love as soon as I picked it up. This rod is really cool. That tip just vibrates with every little rock you go over. I was uh, fishing a fall tournament here at One Bass, and the fish had moved up underneath those docks over there. I get way, way, way back. Skip a, skip a drop shot up in there. Holy smokes. I had one on it. It was, a, it was the biggest fish I've had on in this lake that I know of. It was, it was just a giant. Like this. Look at the gut on that fish. Holy smokes, look at the belly on this fish. <laughs> I'm telling you, this little G2 Ultra Finesse just handles them. I just like getting, I mean, I know it's an Ultra Finesse rod, but I just love the fact that the, the tip is so soft and it, it, it kind of collapses away. But when it does, it just locks up right down here. And, and it's this rod has got that super light tip to allow those fish to pick it up and move it around from spotted bass, you know, smallies. But it's got the backbone power to handle a decent sized fish. I'm not, I'm not afraid of throwing it on, on this lake. I mean, it's got some good, it's got some great action. It's just, I'm, I'm just impressed with the rod itself. The rod is cool. Did you get a chance to play with it? Oh, dude. Pull up into it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, it shuts off. It does. It shuts off. So it's got this tip that's, hold her still. The tip, the tip is, oh, yeah. the tip is like that. There's nothing, I don't feel nothing. But then when you lift in it, go ahead and lift. It, you feel it lock up, Boom. stop. We get bit, it's gonna be a giant, it's gonna be a giant. We gotta go. So we loaded up and we went up and around and down and we, I mean, we finally get to the spot. And uh, so he reels down, he sets the hook. He doesn't hammer, he does a pretty good job. And, uh, and I'm thinking, oh, I know this is a giant fish because if you, the only time you get bit is by big fish. I mean, I've never caught a little fish out of this spot. And so I go running up, there he is. There's Mr. Big right there on the other side of this dock and it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. Did it come up? <gasps> oh my goodness, dude, that was a stud. <laughs> it, was, it was better than the five. That was a stud right there. I knew it too, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I want a double digit fish. <laughs> and anyhow, I don't know what this is yet. I don't know if it's a good one or not. But it's starting to act like he's a better fish. Nope. <laughs> yeah. 
pole. I know you. I know. I know you want to climb on my thumb. And you. Yeah. They're all solid. They're not giant rock stars, but they're big fish. Look at this one, peeing away. They're ready. Not like that one we just lost a minute ago. This thing here is not like that one, but he's healthy. 